हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम विपुल गुप्ता सो आई होप यू गैज आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड रियली एंजॉइंग दी एस क्यूएल इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन सीरीज ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो गैज टूडे आई एम बैक विद अनदर इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम The title of this problem is Users by Average Session Time. So this problem has been asked in Facebook or Meta's interview. So let's get started. So guys, first of all, let's understand this problem. So the ask of this problem is: We are supposed to calculate the each user's average session time. A session can be defined as the time difference between a page load and page exit event. so suppose there is a user who is logging into a particular page at that particular time stamp we are generating an event by the name page load same goes for page exit so at a particular time stamp when the user is exiting that page then we are generating another event by the name page underscore exit now we are uh, there can be a possibility that a particular user is logging in multiple times on a per for a particular session so for simplicity we have been asked to assume that a particular user is just taking one session on a particular day and in case of multiple events generated on that similar day then we have been asked to consider the latest page load time stamp and the earliest page exit time stamp and in the output section we are supposed to print two things the user id and the average session time so guys let me summarize this problem once again for you so there are three things to note the first thing is the session time so session time is defined as the page exit time minus page loading time second point is for multiple sessions so suppose if a user is taking multiple sessions we have to take the maximum of page loading time and the minimum of page exit time and the third point is we are supposed to calculate the average session time for every user so before before getting started let's take a preview of the data that we have so let me write a basic select statement select star from let me copy the name of the table from here let's execute this all right so here we can see that we have user id time stamp and action so each row is representing a particular action and the corresponding time stamp for that now we are supposed to calculate the average time stamp now if we explore this action column so we can see that there are multiple events that is page load scroll down scroll up and page exit so there are four events but as per the ask of this problem we are just concerned about page load and page exit event so corresponding to that we need to find out the time stamp and in case of multiple sessions on a particular day what do we want we want to take the maximum of page loading time and minimum of page exit time so let's write a sql statement for that so now what do we want to find out so first of all we want to find out for a particular day for and for a particular user what is his time stamp for page loading and page exiting so in the select statement i will be writing date time stamp so basically we have time stamp and i want to convert it into a date column so i will be aliasing it as day second thing i want to find out is user id because i want the data against date and user id so that will be the second column now i want to find out the maximum of page loading time so for that let me write max now there are multiple rows for every action but we are just concerned about page loading and page exiting so if action equals to page underscore load then what do we want we want the time stamp in return else it shall return null i want to give it an alias as page load time similarly for the page exit what do we want we want the minimum time stamp so let me paste it here as well so i will be replacing max with min and action with page exit
now i want to calculate the maximum timestamp and minimum timestamp against date and user id so let me write group by 1 comma 2 so 1 stands for day and 2 stands for user id so let's execute this statement to see the output all right so guys now we are able to uh, pivot our data that is we are able to create page load time as a column and page exit time as a column for a particular session right now moving ahead what do we want to calculate we want to calculate the average session time and in order to calculate the session time we want to find out the difference between page exit time and page load time so let me write a SQL statement once again so select so in the final statement we want to print user underscore id and we want to find out the average session time so let me write average function now in this average function i am using another function that is timestamp difference because i want to find out the difference in timestamp and since we want to find out the timestamp difference and no specific measurement unit has been mentioned so in this case i will be taking seconds so let me mention the unit uh, then i want to find the difference between page load time and page exit time as average session time so i will be passing this as a sub query from yes so i will be passing this as a sub query let me alias it as t group by one i want to group my data i want to calculate the average timestamp difference corresponding to user id so that is why i am using group by one so here one stands for user id now i want to put a condition having average session time is not null and uh, let's order our output order by user underscore id now let's execute this to see the output we are getting some error so guys in my sql uh, in order to find out the average uh, we do not have average function like this we have to write avg all right now let's execute this all right so guys this is the desired output now you have seen that in order to solve this particular problem we have used a lot of sql functions for example we have used average we have used max min date uh, we have used if function and many more so guys if you want to understand the sql functions in more detail then you can refer my video in the master sql series where i have uploaded a detailed video on my sql functions so you can refer that so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like it so do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos like this also if you have any particular problem and you want me to make a solution video on that please do share in the comment section below thank you for watching